<laughs> you were worried about some stuff. Uh, any good things come out of tonight? Yeah, I, I thought our I thought our effort was was really good tonight. You know, much better than uh, than it was in the exhibition games. I thought we really came out, battled, um, played hard, and you know, I just told our guys, you know, we we played pretty good, mm -hmm. but you, we missed 13 layups that we charted on the bench. We're 10 for 21 from the free throw line, and I said that's the worst. That's the worst the team I've coached has ever shot from the free throw line in a game, for sure. Uh -huh. And we even shot 300 extra free throws this week. So I don't know. Maybe we better go back to how we usually do, you know? But those those cost us because we actually, I thought, really came out and competed and, and played pretty good. Good. Sometimes I think that, and I come and ask you that question, you're like, oh my gosh, there's nothing good tonight. Yeah. So I, I thought I'd go the other no. route. Yeah, no, I, I, I did. I, I, like I said, I liked our effort. Good. I liked our stuff tonight. It just, man, it, it just deflates a team when you don't make layups. Oh, yeah. You, you know, just like a three pointer jacks them up. You miss layups, it, it's just like popping the balloon, and you could just see it in us. You know, I'll miss again, miss again. You know, because they're so talented and so good right. that you give them those kind of breaks, and it's over. Right. I mean, you can't do that. Not to, you can't beat a great team like that, not making layups and free throws. Did but, you tell Bianca to take just a second on her shot? She was too, shooting too soon. Yeah, I told her at halftime. I said, you know, you just got to settle down. You're rushing things a little bit. I said, take your shot. Shoot with confidence. You're a good shooter. We're getting good looks, uh -huh. and we were getting good looks. Oh, you're looks. getting great looks. You know, we did. And uh, I said, you know, they'll start going. I said, you can't stop shooting because that's part of our offense, and you got to do it. And she knows. I mean, well, she's been with me long enough. It looked like it, she slowed it down just for, you know, yeah. a millisecond or whatever and set up a little bit stronger. She was banging. She did. Yeah, she just relaxed and, uh, you know, shot with confidence. That's, that's yeah. shooting with confidence, you know. And, uh, you know, once Shana settled down, <laughs> yeah. I said, what'd you do, drink like three Red Bulls before the game? Because, man, I was like, well, what's going on, man? You know, and we laughed, and, you know, so once she settled down, then she, you know, played a lot better, but, you know. Um, I, another person that stood out to me, I really thought Jessica Graham did some nice things tonight. Um, I know when I first talked to you a couple weeks ago, you said, oh, I'm waiting for her to kind of do some things, and tonight she seemed like she's moving right along. Yeah, she, she's done better. Her last week of practice was her best week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I really liked her aggressiveness tonight. And, you know, she didn't finish around the rim, but but she played aggressive. And that's the one thing. She's been real tentative with her knee. Yeah. And uh, and tonight she played like she forgot about the knee. And that's what she needs to do because she can really, really help us when she plays like that. And I think, you know, that's her first game. She's a freshman. Yeah. She hasn't played in a long time, man. So, you know, um, I loved her effort tonight. Good. You should do it for me. Are you talking about the rebounding? Or lack of from, from us. Our lack of our box out really hurt us. I mean, they're big and athletic and talented and, and physical inside. And, you know, our plan obviously is to put a body on them. And I think we, you know, we miss box outs or we're just going to turn. We're not, we can't jump with them, you know. And I think we tried to get in a jumping contest for a while with them. And obviously we're going to lose that. So, you know, we, we need to box out. And that's something that, that we've been stressing in practice. And, you know, our guys just haven't done a good job of that in practice, and it really showed out here tonight because they they go to the grass uh, to the glass like crazy, man. I mean, they're they're uh, they are a uh, uh, well coached and a uh, and very talented team. Do you think it might have been a little bit of panic early on with the uh, you know going to the outside ball pretty quick, sort of in the first half? I don't know. You know, it's it's part of our game, and you know, we said if if they're if if it's going to be open, we're going to you know take them and and knock them down. So. You know, I, no, I liked our start. You know, I, we were right there. Um, you know, I, I liked in transition. We, we stopped that game for a while because the Zags have a great transition game, and I thought we did a good job with that um, for long stretches, but then they bust out, you know, with that high-low off of their transition and, and really hurt us. But, no, I liked our start. You know, I didn't mind the shots that we took. I, You know, like you said, man, the, you know, the, the kids taking them might have rushed them a little bit, but the shots themselves were shots that we take every day in practice out of our offense. You're talking about rebounding. Um, you always preach about an aggressive defense. Uh, do you felt that it showed through in this game, and how do you plan on improving it? I, I did. I liked our defense tonight. You know, I thought we did a good job of getting out to people. Uh, you know, we lost our shooters in transition, though. Um, you know, 34. You know, she can really, really light it up. I mean, she's a good, good-looking shooter. I mean, you know, they got more than her. Um, you know, and that's the problem when you have to stretch out. You know, like that to get people. So, but aggressively, defense was better once again than than the exhibition games. You know, we went out. I mean, we put them to the line 27 times. Now, you know, we're, we're not trying to you know foul people either. But by the same token, at least we're mixing it up and getting it. You know, unfortunately, I think some of our fouls that really hurt us were the ones off the rebounds, off the second chance points, and so they're they're going to line when we're fouling them instead of 
you know, just out in front or, you know, getting getting on ball pressure, we could still in, improve our ball pressure for sure. Uh, you, you mentioned the transition game. I was going to say you guys kind of got burned by the transition. Um, how do you address that? Well, you know, we talked about it. And, you know, they, they all run the floor. They're very athletic. And, you know, it's just teams are going to do that. And we just got to sprint back. You know, it's our mindset that we got we to gotta sprint back. And, you know, I think um, as soon as some other kids on the bench, you know, pick it up in practice and can help us, then it's going to help our depth. You know, we still only went, what, seven deep tonight, I think, which is better than six <laughs> from last year. But, uh, you know, I, I want to go at least eight or nine deep if we can, at least in stretches. But, you know, we're just not able to do that right now because uh, our guys in practice aren't, aren't showing me that they're ready to get on the floor. Your, uh, your thoughts about uh, playing a team that's getting votes in the coach's poll to start off the season, uh, you know, it's a good test of your, uh, your Oh, players. there's, there's yeah. no question. That team's going to win the Western, you know, the West Coast Conference. That team will be in the NCAA tournament, and they will be at least in the second round, if not the Sweet 16. I'll tell you that right now. You know, they went and lost at South Dakota State, who was also a top 30 team at their place in South Dakota. You know, sold out place. We right. saw the film. You know, it was unbelievable. A game that they were had well in hand before uh, before they kind of lost it at the end. So, you know, playing a team like this, um, these guys in Baylor will be the, the best teams in the in the preseason that, that we get out and play just from sheer athletic talent. And, and both both teams, obviously Baylor's a legitimate top 10 team. Uh, I think the Zags are a legitimate top 20 team. Uh, I feel like they didn't they don't get the respect they need because they're out here on the West Coast. But but that team, that team could really play, man. They are loaded up.